I'd like to discuss and demonstrate a method for testing moisture in concrete. I think it was probably developed somewhere around, well, probably the turn of the century, probably about the same time that Fred Flintstone was the President of the United States. It's called the Plastic Sheet Test, and it involves utilizing 2 inch, 200 mile an hour duct tape and adhering an 18 inch by 18 inch piece of plastic 4 mil thick to the concrete. After you've done this, the test needs to actually sit on the concrete for 16 hours and in order to actually get a valid sampling of any slab size you need to do at least one test for every 500 square feet. So now that I've given you the bare bones to what it takes to do the test, let's do a couple. I've taken the liberty to pre-tape the plastic sheets, but in essence, all you have to do is put the sheets on the concrete and make sure that around the edges they're stuck firmly to the concrete. We're actually going to do a couple tests here to see what kind of results we get. Now that we've actually placed them, I'll see you in 16 hours with the results. So here we are, 16 hours later. Let's take a look at the results on this first one. Oh. Kind of gray. Luckily though, I have personally developed a color gradient scale for this testing method. It's much like the same that you use when you do your, your pH tests currently. Just so you have an idea, take a look. So let's see how it reads on the scale. Whoa somewhere between uncertain and bewildered. But not to worry, let's take a look at the second test. Wow! This one has droplets! Maybe we should pull the ruler out and measure how big they are. Oh, that's right, that really wouldn't tell us anything anyway. My point is, the quickest way to lose your business is to use this testing method exclusively. If you use this testing method, you will still have to do an additional test that's going to give you a more quantifiable result. So again, why use this testing method? 